is an ethos, a life, a okay, a spirit all of its own that must be savoured like a wine. It has a bouquet. It has a bouquet. A bouquet, exactly, just like a good wine, of course. You pick one of the vintages. What year is it, I hear you ask? Ah, oh, yes, it's 1979, actually. I suppose more of a table wine, shall we say. The randomizer is a useful device, but it lacks true discrimination. Shall we sip and see? The city of death is one of the crowning jewels of the Tom Baker era. Here I am at the location for the start of the story, the Eiffel Tower, they're up there normally. That's where the story starts, up there. But um, obviously I'm not going to go up there because not only is it hot, I'm not going to climb up the stairs and it's very, very, very high. So yeah, um, this story um, was written by Douglas Adams, a famous, Douglas Adams rather, um, a famous science fiction author. He wrote the hit, the hit Hiker's Guide to the Galaxy, um, which is quite a famous sci-fi novel. I'm sure many Doctor Who fans have read it or listened to the radio play all the various different films of it. Um, this was one of the most famous, mainly because it's um, the first sort of foreign location film they ever did for a Doctor Who story. So it's a very fascinating piece of Doctor Who and um, a very special one, I think. Um, it's obviously known as probably Douglas Adams best story that he did for Doctor Who, at least once that made it onto the screen. Sharda, of course, unfortunately, never made it to the screen. I mean, it's the Eiffel Tower, the many locations in Paris that we are going to visit during this vlog, um, and sort of documentary, documenting the history of this monumentous Doctor Who story. Um, this was obviously built a long time ago in 1889. We're celebrating today, actually, um, the anniversary of the, um, what's it called? The revolution, wasn't it? The liberation. The liberation. The, liberation. the li liberation of Paris. And you can see they have the um, the French flag, which I can't remember what exactly it's called. Yeah, I know. It's been 40 years of the story um, since this September. We're celebrating that. Um, co quite conveniently, it coincided with when we were going on holiday, so that's good. We've already filmed a couple of, of, of segments, so this is obviously being filmed out of order. So if it's discontinuation, I guess that's that problem. But yeah, um, I can't wait, this is such a great story, um, to show you some of the locations around Paris. I say, what a wonderful butler, he's so violent. <laughs> this was formerly the entrance to Scarlioni's chateau. Um, it was also formerly owned by Chanel, I believe. Um, but now it's under uh, construction of something completely different, so that's very interesting. Um, yeah. This street is obviously much more busier in terms of um, road um, traffic than it clearly used to be 40 years ago. But as you can see, here it is, the Arc de Triomphe, a um, famous piece of Parisian architecture there. And down there is the Champs Elysees, which is where they film the famous scene where they run, run down a past a little island. Obviously, I'm not going to do that today because, as I mentioned, it's, there's a lot of traffic here because clearly a lot more busier because there's obviously a lot more cars now than there were 40 years ago but yeah it's a nice um, piece of architecture there so yeah so here we are in Notre Dame de Paris which is um, the cathedral from the episode they um, wander around in the square but obviously we can no longer get around there after what the fire that um, was erupted there, unfortunately. Um, quite a tragic accident, I guess. It is quite a wonderful church, having been inside. Um, but they filmed across just in that square there. I believe they also took a promo shot over there, which we might try and do later when there's less busy, I guess. But um, it's a very nice church. And if you go over here, they ran across that road to that cafe, which is where the famous scene with um, the artist and Romana and the Doctor are sitting having a drink, and the artist is drawing Romana, and the Doctor tries to get the Romana to stop, but 
obviously she looks around anyway and the drawing is ruined, which is when that first time slip happens um, in the story and the doctor notices that something is not quite right in the city of London. Um, yeah, that's a lovely location. Not much is really filmed here. Um, they didn't even actually film in that cafe, they just filmed outside it, but um, running over to it, I believe the cafe itself was actually a set in probably um, the London studios, Lime Grove, supposedly. I don't know whether we're filming at that point, but uh, yeah, it's a nice location. So here we are now at the Musée de Louvre. Um, obviously, the famously housing a lot of famous and well-known paintings and other sculptures and all kinds of stuff. But over there, it, more, important, more importantly, they took a promo shot for the City of Death. Um, the Doctor and Romana were in these hedges here. And then if you come around here, obviously we have the main Louvre up here. Um, obviously the most famous painting, which um, in association to Doctor Who, is of course the Mona Lisa, which has made multiple appearances um, throughout Doctor Who canon and lore, I guess. Um, obviously, in this case, the City of Death. Um, the evil Count Scarlioni, or Scaroff, uh, plans to steal the Mona Lisa to um, pay, help pay for his time travel experiments. He also, because he has the ability to go back in time, sort of in a weird, sort of time climatic, very Douglas Adams, Doctor Who way, he goes back and tells Leonardo to paint, da Vinci to paint six so he can totally maximise his profits. Another occasion in which the Mona Lisa also appeared within Doctor Who lore is in with the series three story of the Sarah Jane Ventures where um, Clyde Langer wins the art competition and ends up going to a special exhibition where the Mona Lisa is being housed and by some evil powers of science fiction the Mona Lisa comes to life out of the painting and obviously starts hunting down everyone and turning people into paintings. So yes, the Mona Lisa plays an important role in Doctor Who lore and here it is. Well, Romana, what did you think? Quite good, really. Romana, really Romana, quite good. Quite good is what you have to say about this. One of the greatest treasures of the universe, quite good is what you have to say about it. Quite good. Quite good. <laughs> quite good. Thank <laughs> you.